Hi everybody, it's Wednesday, April 15th, and I just wanted to talk about adjectives today. On your other homework, the spelling little video, it's yellow, and it says there's the pamphlet that we shared, and on Wednesday, you have a little homework about adjectives. You pick out the adjective and just number your paper. I can't remember how many are on there, but just number your paper and write down the adjective and send your teacher a picture. So this one is just for us to watch, and you could kind of pick out the adjectives ahead of me and see how I do. So at the top here, it says adjectives describe nouns. I'm going to underline nouns. We know what that is, person, place, or a thing. So it's a description <coughs> of the things or the people or the places. Adjectives can give information about color, number, size, and kind. In the phrases, the blue rug, the rug is the thing, and blue is its description. The adjective blue tells the color of the noun rug. Boys and girls, it's important that you know what a noun is. To discuss adjectives, we need to know what a noun is. A person, a place, meaning a location or somewhere you go, or things. Those are nouns. And then the describing words are called adjectives. Let's read number one. Olivia looked into her messy closet. So what are the nouns? I see Olivia. Let's put a little dot there. Looked. That's an action. Into her messy. Is messy a thing? No, but a closet is. So what describers do we have for Olivia? I don't see any. But if I keep reading, this word right here is describing the closet. Messy closet. It's telling you how the closet is. And I would say, let's go up here. Is messy a color? No. Is it a number? No. Is it a size? Messy is a kind. What kind of closet? Is it neat? Is it blue? Is it large? No, it's messy. Messy is telling us the kind. I think that color and number and size are easier to pick out. But kind, sometimes we'll, we might be a little unsure about kind. Let's read number two. She was looking for her favorite shirt and pants. What are the nouns? She is a person. How about looking? Hmm. If I'm looking at something, I'm doing an action. So I'm not going to put a dot there. For her favorite shirt, that's a thing, and pants. So I put a dot under the things. Is there any describers for she? I don't see any. It doesn't tell us how tall she is, what she looks like. So I'm going to keep reading. She was looking for her favorite shirt. Hmm. Does that tell us the size of the shirt, the number of the shirt, the color of the shirt? It does tell us which kind. Which shirt? Her favorite shirt. So these two are connected. And then I would say it's describing the pants also. Favorite is which kind. Her shirt and pants are the favorite ones. Because I'm sure she has other shirts and pants. Let's look at number three. Anya enjoys planting beautiful flowers in the garden. Anya is a person. Hmm. Planting, that's an action. That's when you put plants in the ground. Beautiful, 
beautiful isn't something I can touch, but flowers are. That's a thing. And then what about garden? A garden is a thing. Could be a place. I don't see any describers for Anya. Enjoys planting. That's what she's doing. Beautiful flowers. Hmm. Beautiful is describing the flowers. I would say that's telling us what kind. The kind. In the garden. I really don't see any describing words for garden. It doesn't tell us if it's a large garden, a beautiful garden. And not every noun has describing words. But I would say that beautiful is the describing word for flowers. Let's look at number four. Anne dislikes buying new clothes. Anne is a person. Hmm. Dislikes buying. Hmm. I would say this is a, uh, this, these are the actions of the statement here. This is what Anne does. She dislikes buying new clothes. Clothes are things. We can touch and hold and move. Those are nouns. So do you see any describers? Did you say new? New clothes are telling you the kind of clothes. The kind of clothes. It didn't tell us large clothes. We don't know if they're red or blue or yellow and it doesn't tell us a number, but it does tell us what kind. Let's look at number five. Brian, and if you can't say this name, boys and girls, we say this in my room. Don't get hung up on names. Just say B. If you're reading on a test and you can't say the name, just say B. B thinks that the field is huge. This is a person. How do I know it's a person? They think. B thinks. Objects don't think. So that's an action that the field is huge. What's a field? Oh, like a baseball field, maybe a grass field, the playground at Tuileries, that's a field. Out beyond where kids play soccer, that's a field. And I would say that huge, which is a size word, Right here, huge is a size word. That's describing the field. Number six. That annoying phone keeps ringing. I'll give you a minute to think about it. One of these words is an adjective. What do you think it is? First, I look for the nouns. Is that a noun? Is annoying a noun? Is phone a noun? Think of the nouns and then what describes them. Did you say annoying? I would agree with you. Let's look at seven. Anna's youngest sister misbehaves. Anna's a person. A sister is a person. And these two, hmm, one of them has to be an action. Misbehave is what they do. Did you say youngest? Is Anna the youngest or the sisters the youngest? What is youngest describing? If you said sister, you are correct. Let's look at number eight. Max's older brother is nice. Max is a person and brother is a person. Which brother? The nice brother? The older brother? Could it be both? This is not saying that Max is nice 
older brother is nice. Older is describing the brother, and also nice is describing the brother. Number nine, the city has a lot of tall buildings. City is a place. Is it telling you which city, a large city? I don't see any. Has a lot, has, that would be a verb. I'm gonna put a V, this is the verb. A lot, what does it have? A lot of tall buildings. Right here, boys and girls, tall is describing the buildings. Number 10, the theater has a big stage theater. I always want to mention, if you don't know a word, use your context clues, and you could still do this. A theater is where they put on shows. But if you didn't know that, boys and girls, the something has a big stage. And knowing that this thing has a stage in it, that might help you know what a theater is. But look right here. Big is telling you the size of the stage. And that's adjectives, boys and girls. Do the homework in your yellow movie clip about spelling. It's bright yellow and on Wednesday is adjectives.